Our final table is up and running. Tonight, we find out who will be crowned Premier League champion. Last time in the Premier League final, we lost our first player. Put a blank out there, please. I can't look. Sometimes nothing goes right for you, right? Tony G extended his chip lead, and Roland Wolf nearly doubled his chip stack. Tonight, we find out who will be crowned Premier League champion. Well, they've played nearly three levels at this final table, and now Tony G can really start to exercise his chip lead. He can put serious pressure on those bottom three stacks. Can't ignore Roland DeWolf. He has just seemed like the shining light tonight. Does he own this or what? Joining me is a lot of jewelry, 11 World Series bracelets, Phil Helmet. And this is hot it up action. Pass. Cool. Lusk with a Pass. rare limp in. But he's a rare sort of player. Look at this. Tony G's oh running geez. good. Oh Picks geez. up two aces. Oh, geez. And look at that. Krevchenko laid the ace eight down. Cool. And Marcel with King Queen got involved. If Marcel hits top pair here, it's it's Dunsville, it's right? Over. It's Fine. over. And you know something, Fine. Marcel. I, I don't blame him for calling. He limped in to call a race. Marcel's done nothing wrong. <laughs> over. And there it is, a queen and a king. Oh my! I was saying. And they, all the chips are going into the middle here. <laughs> Talk about get out of jail. That's a get out of jail for your card so far. Now Tony G. Race. And they're all going in, and Tony G is going to not be happy. He's going to need a four. He's going to need club club, or he's going to need an ace. And we know there's an ace gone. Marcel has announced raise, and he's just, you know, deciding how much. 50,000 more. Okay. I mean, this is, this is un unlucky. For Tony G, he has well, Phil, he has played a stormer he's here. He's played great, and he's been very, but you know the pot's not over yet. Tony G has been very lucky. Not only that, but he will still be chip leader even if he loses this pot, Phil. That's amazing. That's how, that's how well Tony's played tonight. Tony G is complaining about the bad luck. What can I do? It's five-handed. I find the ages in the big blind. And, and Marcel has done nothing wrong. Ages. Marcel okay. has gotten the money in with the best hand. But nothing that, the, the nothing that Tony could do. I, I mean, that, but it's not over yet. Oh, the way sure. if all the poker players at the table are kind of thinking, let's have the ten of clubs or the jack of clubs just for sweat. They never make it easy. Of course you, know? you want. Now, Marcel yeah, wants a queen or a king, mind you. But, clubs. but when you're a poker player, you're thinking, give us the ten or the jack of clubs just to make it a sweat. <laughs> what a deal. A king. Wow. There's only one. Now, no, we know at home there's only yeah, one we, ace left in the deck. We saw so. her. She the board, board and she's still good. Nah. Tony oh, G's done absolutely brutal. nothing wrong here. One ace left, 43 to 1 or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, and he made four kings. <laughs> <laughs> there was also one king no. left in the deck, Jesse. That was... That's a set. That's a that's that's set up. I mean, yeah, she had to set it up. I didn't need quite two pairs. <laughs> that one came out of the shuffle in the machine. Did you hear that? Tony's talking about a setup. It well, came out of the shuffle. Let me tell you something. There's a bunch of people that feel on these first six seats that there were a lot of setups, and Tony G had all of them in his favor. Bet blind that he have aces, but they hit it. What am I gonna do? Throw it away? Too easy. Phil, I mean, Tony still has the chip lead. I mean, that's why you build a big stack, isn't it? Yeah, he has, to, he has, to, he has to tell himself that, doesn't he? <laughs> he wasn't going to miss. So it was a setup. There's nothing he could do. At the position, the hand was dealt. There's nothing I could do.
lines now five and ten thousand. Tony G <laughs> is the chip leader, but he doesn't feel like it after having Lusk on the ropes. Well, to be honest, we've taken like a ten minute break now, so everybody's come back kind of recharged, feeling good and and now Tony G's been announced as a chip leader and he's feeling better about things. Roland limping in with the nines. Wow. And there it is, Tony G with the ace king suited right behind him. Oh, this could have been so different. Well, little fans and Tony in G will be limped in. Oh my! What is going on here? Both these players playing a very uncharacteristic spot. And Roland had two eights against Andy Duke's ace king, and the third player got involved, Tony G, and won it with queen jack. Nines against ace king, but not a big decision so far. Could be disastrous for Tony if a nine comes and he hits also. Check. check and look at this. Check. The third player again. <laughs> the 10 6 offsuit's going to take the lead here. Yeah, they're talking to each other, and it's Black who's got the hand. 25, oh, forgot about you. Poland's been a little unlucky, I mean. No, really? Can he get this one through? Yeah, he can, absolutely. I don't think he I don't think he can make the move. If he makes the move, I'd be impressed. That's impressive. Wow. That is impressive. It's a beautiful race Roland made there. Oh, wow, well played. Well I mean, played. I mean, how do you what what how do you make that? What do you think? What is he thinking? Well, of? he's looking at Andy Black and he's saying, I don't think Andy's that strong. There's a decent chance the nines are good, number one. And number two, I don't think he can call a re raise. That was a great raise, though, Roland's part. I mean, he, instead of getting unlucky and being resignated to, to losing with the nines, he just went ahead and made a good read and took the pot away. Give him credit. Shoo! That was, uh, was 60,000 out of the muck there. And if, if Roland had raised pre-flop, I mean, the money goes in in a big way with the ace-king somehow. I mean, if Roland raises before the flop, he, he might not win that pot because uh, Tony G's going to re-raise it. We're all waiting for that ace-king to come. So you think Kravchenko's got to make a raise on the button at some point? Well, now Kravchenko, look, he laid down a king on the button, and I, I just don't like that play. I mean, he's he's been playing. You see, if he'd been raising every hand, then lay it down. But otherwise, call, but I'd rather see a raise there. <laughs> He's up to <laughs> something. Roll, roll twice. Check. 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 And <laughs> Andy, Andy's strategy is to just wait and wait and wait for Marcel to bluff. He is just <laughs> trying to trap bed. Marcel, and it's worked well so far. Better board, I have to bet. I feel like Why? 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 Check. Check. Why? I, pl I played. <laughs> 20,000. <laughs> 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 Andy is playing Marcel. Maybe that ruling is bad luck. Lusk is, is drawing dead here, but yeah. there are bluffing cards. Well, and that's one of them. You can play your momentum if you want to and blame cards. Oh, that would be a strong bet there if he could, if he could, if he could bluff this pot and win it. That would be strong. I mean, Andy could easily have an ace here, right? I mean, he yeah. might get the best ball in the corner. 50,000. Wow, what a strong bluff. What a strong bluff that he made there. <laughs> I don't see how Andy can call this. He can really only beat the deuce five. I think Andy has to lay this down, and that would be one heck of a bluff. Marcel's made a great bluff. Now, if Andy can make a great call here. What a great call. That was some kind of fantastic call. Maybe the best call I've seen in this Watch match so this. far. Watch this. Wow. Andy Black with an absolutely uh, beautiful the call there. He must have had inside information. I cannot see anybody calling him. Like wow. You know what? I'm sorry, Phil, but Andy, this is his, he loves making genius calls. I mean, he, he, he can have this is a, he can bluff and win. He, I mean, this is his thing. Wow. He can bluff and win with that. So we have to look at that part of the video, Phil, very carefully. Yeah, I want to like see that, this. Phil? I want to see <laughs> that part, that hand on the video I'm in slow motion. Hands. Slow motion. That's the call of the Premier League. Because I, I want to look at something special. I think I'm going to see something special there. All I can say about Marcel is this. why I don't like this glass plate. If Marcel you, thinks that Andy wrong, saw his cards. It's not true, Phil. Is. I mean, I'm I mean, just Andy, saying, no, no, this no, 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 this is yeah. great. I think that, I think Marcel thinks that Andy saw his cards. But Marcel made a great yeah, bluff, and better. Andy made a great call, and that's all there is to it. I don't think there was any of that involved. Yeah, I mean, this is Andy Black. I mean, <laughs> it's 
Gotten Marcel a little hot though. Kravchenko raising with King Jack, and he laid down Ace Four, and now Marcel cool. has decided to just call with the two sixes. This is the first pot Kravchenko has raised. Uh, I think since Marcel had that Ace Three, since that pot. I mean, it's been it's been a good twenty hands. And look at Roland. Roland's thinking about making a move here, and he would be right. He could get away with it, but Pass. what are you going to do? He had to lay it down. Tony G with A7. I don't know why Lusk likes to get into these spots here with Tony G and the big blind Kravchenko raise. Well, he's got sixes, I guess. But I would have played the sixes. Cool. And Tony G just called, so <coughs> this, uh, this could be if Marcel can manage to flop a set here and one of them hits a pair, he, he's probably going to get all the way doubled up. King Jack's okay. looking good. Check. Great flop for Kravchenko, I mean. King Jack's the only hand that's looking good. I mean, he almost doesn't have check. to bet. The only card he really fears is a jack. Check. He doesn't know a six would really mess him up. But I think I was hoping that, I think he was hoping to get a Tony G bluff on the turn. Mm. Check. Wow. Check. He gave him a free shot it of the is. jack or a six. Didn't hurt him, but he's playing it so sneaky. Thirty thousand. Now Marcel, having just had a great call made against him, is thinking, "Can I make the great call?" But it's a much different circumstance. I mean, so hard to believe Kravchenko would have played. Really, any hands this way, check, check. Well, you can always put him on a queen. Ace, queen, queen, jack. Marcel's thinking about raising. Cool. Oh. Wow. Phil, is he just, uh, I mean, he's he's putting Kravchenko on the on the deuce five now. That uh, Black just put him on, isn't he? That's some sort of Some sort of nothing. And there. that might be it for Marcel. Lusk, he won that big pot with a king-queen, but all those chips have now left him. Yeah, and he's right back sitting in the exact same spot that he was, and he's in trouble. He's in trouble because he's not playing patiently enough. He's in trouble because he has less than half of the chips of the fourth-place guy, and Kravchenko, and he's in fifth place. Alex is playing too tight. I mean, he's just too many times he'll pick up a king on the button and lay it down, or a king nine suited. Raise to 30,000. Speculate to accumulate. Pass. Speculate. You Pass. speculated, you know, in Russia. What would, small. Speculate seven, eight. What would be the argument for him playing Pass. tight here? I mean, is, 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 is there. A okay, here's a raise from DeWolf, and yep. Marcel has a nine, eight suited. No, seven, eight is speculate. And he's called. Now, if it comes a nine, Trouble. it could be bye bye Marcel. <laughs> the Flying Dutchman, he could be out of Check. jail again here. And Marcel has flopped an open ender. Check. Check. They both checked it. Marcel needs an eight, a seven, or a queen. It's an eight. Check. 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 And even though he has the best hand, they haven't put any money in since he made the best hand. Roland needs an ace, or there's some tie cards. Now, Lusk might be able to value about 20 here. 20,000. Well, it might pay that off. He's playing good defense. He was playing good defense. No, that's a value bet. Roland almost has to call here. Going through the specter of hands. How much do you have, roughly? I mean, it's so difficult to tell. I want to I count. <laughs> Marcel, is it, I think he wants Marcel to say something or move his chips, and Marcel ain't going for it. Well, I mean, maybe now Roland's decided that he might have an eight. Maybe I can move in. <laughs> Did you see what he said, Marcel? He said it's so difficult to count. It's one little stack. It has to be the easiest chip stack to count on the table. I mean... <laughs> I mean <laughs> Taking so long if he raises here, it feels like a moody. I mean, Tomorrow, you know that 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 it just wouldn't have been part of his character to. 
He had to call. Yeah. Pretty much had to call. I mean, nuts. Three out. <laughs> and and Roland's right. It was ace nine against eight nine, and and that's the kind of stuff. And Marcel, everybody knew. You know, playing a hand that no one else would really play eight nine suited when you're getting short on chips, and he plays it anyway. And at that time, he hit the eight. This is how the prize money at the final table breaks down. Annie Dukes already grabbed twenty thousand dollars for six. Plenty of money for fifth, fourth, and third. But the cash in the runner-up and winner spots one hundred and twenty thousand for second and a cool quarter million, plus the title for first. Never since that call that Black made, I mean, yes, it was a hero call, it was a crazy call, but you said about the message that Andy Black's call set to the table, and does it feel like he's all of a sudden taking charge here? He's sitting up, he's, he's playing pots aggressively, he's got like this stamp of authority on the game all of a sudden. He's feeling good. I mean, he knows, that he, he, knows he made the call at the final table. And uh, he's in perfect control, and he knows that if he can just maintain control for three or four more real hours, not what the television viewers are looking at, that he'll be all right. Mar Marcel's made a raise, and it was re-raise all in by DeWolf. Or has Marcel gone all in? Marcel went all in, and Roland DeWolf is asking for a count. It's now, ten big blinds. The problem is I don't think Roland can call here. It's just, you know, I mean, he, he may decide to gamble. He does have the chip lead, could be but it. this could be it. He would, I mean, in some ways, he would actually be doing Marcel a favor, wouldn't he? I think he is doing Marcel. Marcel, for Marcel to get his money and even money like this, uh, Marcel, that's that's good for him because he's gotten, he, he's, you know, he's been, you know, kind of chomping off some of his chips. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, the wolf. Obviously knows because the blinds are going up, Phil, that there comes a time when you have to gamble. Is this the time? I'd rather see him, you know, make a call with Ace Jack or something like that, a hand where he could have him dominate it. It's too easy for Marcel to have two overcards here. Cool. Wow. He made the call. And to make that call, he has to think there's a reasonable chance Marcel could either have an under or Marcel could have an under pair. That's why I play it. Oh my God. That's why I play it. You're unlucky. Oh, my God. Now what's the chance? The queen is. Wow. I play his hand. You have to call. What are you thinking? You have to win it. Why? You're a big favorite, of course. I had this free, so the queen is even more alive. Wow, oh, I got a 10 now. We all got fun now. It's just some. <laughs> it's never easy. Jack is a bad card. He's got slight favorite now, DeWolf, from 50 50. Wow, he needs to dodge oh, an 8, a 10, or a queen, Roland does. Hey, bad beat dealer. She missed. A foo! Six! And DeWolf takes the chip lead with a marginal call. It's not no queen aid, no good. It's not the hand it used to be. Fifth place for Marcel Lusk. I mean, uh, he's done some he's done some incredible, incredible things in this Premier League. If these pros are on the table, having the dealer counting the chips down, and then three hands later counting the chips down, from the same person, you should watch the game. So that's one thing, it's bad behavior, and uh, it's done to irritate you, and it gets you on your skin, because you know what they're doing, and you think it's very childish. I don't want to be low myself, but I want to let them know that I think it's way far out of where I think I come from. I they have 40 minutes or half an hour. Look at this, mm -hmm. Kravchenko with queens. <laughs> I feel a limp. No? Alex is finding a lot of hands now. Raised, 39, and Roland's right, he is finding a lot of hands. There's Andy Black with king, queen. He raised 200,000. And there, there could be, there it is. Andy, Andy may have hit the wall. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, and here it is, Cra uh, Andy's in bad shape. He got a little bit out of his system, I think, wow. um, and he's just in bad shape. So I think he's blown up a <laughs> little bit here. I'm I mean, like Phil, that. you have to realize what this, the tempo yeah. of the game has been. This has been the fourth all-in, not just by Black, but about the fourth all-in on a re-raise in six hands. Uh, it's been a, 
he have more chips. Than and obviously them. now, all of a sudden, a huge hand. The Blacks run Now's a good time to get lucky. You have all the blues. I love well, I mean, yeah. that's true. Now's a good time to get lucky. But to me, it's a bit of a blow up because the blinds are only 7 and 15, and he put in $250,000 on, on the king queen offsuit. Right. I mean, after putting 100 in, the re raise was, yeah, 200 and plus more. Yeah, he called a $250,000 raise with king queen offsuit re raise. And he had to be against ace king or a really, really big big hand and so I, 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 I just was kind of a blow up there now he's going to need a king black to save the go, day black's not all in he's got oh he's got a, somewhere around a hundred thousand back but you know, Kravchenko was unlucky with oh my god and Kravchenko was unlucky with the queens against the ten jack and Kravchenko's been unlucky with the queens against the king queen he's handling himself with class he's saying goodbye okay I shake your hand Wow, and Andy Black well, blew much. up, well, he tried to, tried to, tried to lose 250,000 in chips, <laughs> and put a bad beat on Kravchenko. Amazing bad stuff. Bad I beat? He could have just knocked out the, the, a Premier League yeah, champion. I mean, Black, I mean, I, know I, did, yeah. I mean, well, look at it. <laughs> Three ways now, Black, the chip leader, but uh, who knows what his mind, mental state is now. And... I mean, Kravchenko, what an impressive poker player he's been. Look, Kravchenko was my pick to win this thing. He didn't win it, but I'll tell you something. I mean, he put it all on with Queens, man. I mean, it was just, you know, I mean, he took a terrible beat. And you got to give Kravchenko a lot of credit and a lot of respect because every single time in this Premier League that the pot got to be really big, he had a real hand. Let someone come into the final <laughs> competition. I mean, Tony's limp with the 980 Diamonds. I don't mind so much. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you like, what it feels like to me, really Phil. I, I don't know if Andy's going to go forward or backward from here, but I feel like his chips are going to be back in play within the next 10 hands. I mean, I, I just feel like it. Well, they are in play. You know, and <laughs> I mean his stack. I mean the whole deal. And look at that. He bet out with 30. He bet out 30,000 here and uh, immediately was rolling laid down a three, which was a good lay down. Check. Tony G needs a nine, an eight, or a diamond. It's a king. Missed it. Check. Fifty thousand. Oh. Cool. Yeah, that was that smell did it. <laughs> so Andy Black did oh, pick him geez. off this time. He played that well, did he? He did play that well to me. I mean, he. he I I like the way he played it. Look, let me tell you something. The pressure's on. They're down to three-handed. Quarter of a million for first. Worldwide television bragging rights if you win this thing. And uh, the heat is on. And, and Andy Black has to be able to say to himself, I deserve to win it. I'm a good enough guy. And, and, and somehow, some way, I have to avoid blowing up. And, and I think that's why the people that are at home watching this, no one wants to leave their television because they know. what is. They're wondering, what is Andy going to do next? Yeah, and, I mean, can he get over this hump? Can Black yes. break his duck? It's what he said loudly to everybody in the green room before this uh, final table began. No he knows. No he knows what people say about him. He knows his oh, reputation. Yeah. I asked him about it, and he said, that's right, Phil. You know? So, I mean, he, he's, he's tried what's worked for him really well, Check. and that's limping in with an ace high. Check. This is interesting. Top pair against middle pair. Well, that's a good card for Roland. 20, Just 20. I would think Roland might want to raise it up a little, juice it up a little bit, but... Total. Yep, and Ooh. he has Andy on the hook here, and and believe me, Roland right now uh, is probably hoping for about a queen. I wonder if Roland was prepared for uh, Andy to maybe re-raise him there. He can only lose with an ace or six. Oh my God in heaven! And he hit the ace, and then Roland's going for it. Roland is going for it. That is. This so is a. Uh, he's gonna make a value bet. I don't even think Andy could raise him here. Cool. Cool. And Andy got himself in bad shape again. Wow. It's really his day, I guess. I Good mean, it's interesting. I mean, uh, Andy, obviously, wary of the straight. But if he had raised, I don't know what. I mean, would the wolf have had to call? It would have been. It would have been. Whew. Wow, that was really, really huh? sick. Big results lately from the Irishman, Andy Black. But no glory. 
about $3 million between the World Series and the Aussie Millions the last couple of years, but still searching for that elusive big title. My form basically over the last two or three years is I've led more big tournaments than anyone else in the world. You know, I've gone deeper probably in more huge tournaments in the majors, you could say. You've got the Aussie Millions, you've got Monte Carlo, you've got the World Series. Um, you know, I've, I've got a, a better record of being in the lead more than anyone else. But I ain't very good at converting it yet. Last year, my mantra was winning is a distraction. This year, my mantra is, man, I gotta win, you know, I gotta win. It's too painful, kind of like not winning, you know? It was good on the fault, but at least. Maybe not the top. Maybe the real not good. I had a flash call with it. Third place it's in this Premier League, shots. guaranteed $60,000. Second place, one hundred twenty. And uh, the prize, of course, quarter million. Where's so price? here's Andy Black. 50,000 toast. And Tony G with the ducks. What's he going to do with them? Is he all in? Is he just going to call? What's he going to do? Wow. And, and that's <laughs> a little different style here in the final. In the, in the, he would have moved in in like one of the heats. And if he does hit the duck. Yeah. Well, you have to think Check. that. Uh, Check. Wow, and Andy is checked right behind him. The only way Andy can get in trouble here is if a deuce pops off. In which case, Tony G would double all the way. Oh, oh my God, my four gosh. aces. It's a pretty unlucky That's card for Tony G, isn't it? 30,000 bet. Four aces he's got. And Andy Black has to do what? He's doing a little acting. And he called, and Tony G might not know what's going on. I mean, a king would be disastrous for him. Queen's a okay. bad card, because now Tony G can't even beat Queen High anymore. And little milky 40,000. Oh. The acting is probably what got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the acting is probably what got Tony G to fold there. Black's hitting everything. We haven't got one between us, you know? <laughs> All the time that passes is bad. It gets worse and worse for Andy. Sit back and play poker. Coming out with a raise. Could be bye bye Roland here. Raise. Raise. 85. Ooh, Five Tony passes. G's going to move in, I think. 55 more? But the thing about this is, is that oh. Roland, now if a king comes, it's over. If a king comes, it's bye-bye Roland. He just does not want a king. He actually wants the ace, doesn't he? <laughs> he wants an ace, he wants anything, but he just doesn't want a king. Oh, that's almost as bad. Check. And Tony's going to move all in here. That's it. Roland, okay. Roland needs exactly a five. Oh, he's going to let Roland hang himself. Oh, that's a great card now. for Roland. He's not picked up a flush draw, too. If he bets here, might Tony move all in? How much I think bet? if Roland bets, he has to bet all of it, I think. If he bets all of it, he could win. Come on. He did bet all of it, wow. and I think he's going to win the pot. It's a tough call for Tony G wow. here. I don't think Tony can make the call. Really? But if he does, wow. Because he knows that Roland started with a hand. He knows that. But why would Roland bet so much? He's done it! And what a great play. This is sensational poker here. Sensational poker. Tony G should have won that pot. Any bet on the flop, and he's going to win the pot. If he moves in before the flop, we don't know. Maybe the last card was a diamond or a five. But all I can say is, wow. And maybe that's why Roland's strategy of playing in the small blind, of only of folding all those hands, it actually paid dividends a couple of times when he picked up some hands. How did he wriggle out of that? That was amazing. I mean, that was amazing. It really was. I mean, I mean, it was a cold deck before the flop. It was a cold deck on the flop. He still won it. Yep. And here's and here's Roland is limped in. Okay. He's limped in with Queen Jack. If it comes a Queen, he'll bust Tony. In a hand where Tony should have all the chips right now. But now if it comes a Queen, he's going to bust Tony. Check. 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 
check? Well, he needs a queen to get Tony Jesus. now is what he needs. It's three limps. Wow, and, uh, what a what a card yeah. for him. 40,000. Nice. Good move, and he's going to win the pot. God. He is going to win the pot, although, yeah, he's going to win the pot. And what a swing of events. Oh, my god! The king-queen and Roland, I think, would have been out of the tournament there. He would have had no chips left. If Tony would have just bet the flop, Roland would have been forced to give up. The diamond came. Roland got aggressive, bluffed him out, and wow. That, that is, that's just some super poker, Phil. Don't be all yanked around. You much can, better than us. You can read about it on Poker News. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good time to get yeah. live no, reporting. The wolf has. He's, he's, no, he's not going to lay yeah. down the queen five this time, is he? Cool. I think as if Tony picks up. No raise. Yeah, but Tony can't raise with king high because Roland folds, 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 and then all of a sudden could have just an falls. Ace, right? Yeah. He could be trapping. It's powerful. Might be the right strategy to give Tony some pots. Uh -oh. Roland has flopped the flush. And look at this. Tony's flopped to seven. 40, Tony might move in here dead. No. Yep. It's fast played the flush. So unorthodox. I mean, it's... Wow. There's no way Tony gets away for... There's no way he can fold it. He's trying to find a way to fold it, but... He may well go broke on this hand. It's the absolute last hand you can put Roland on right now is the flush, right? If you're wow. Tony. It was beautiful bet on Roland's part. Roland does not want a club. Oh, my God. Just any blank, and he's happy, especially a deuce. Is he checking or betting? Depends on what hits. If he bets like 40 or 50, that's kind of a nice little bet. 50,000. I mean, what if G puts him on just a big club? G, what's G gonna do here? G's counting down here. He might move all in. He may move all in. That'll be the last thing he does in the Premier League if he moves. He's drawn dead. He could lay this down. I think he'll probably call the 50, but he's got a tough decision here. <laughs> I mean Wow. It's a good lay down. I Very mean, who, good who lay down. Who could put the wolf on a flush there? I mean, who Yeah, could? but for Tony G, that's an exceptional lay down. I mean, uh, look. I mean, that was just a very, sure. very, very good lay down. It was a trap. Uh, Lines are going up. Black with half the wolf. And I don't know. I mean, is the wolf playing so patient because he thinks if Tony G doubles through Andy Black, then it's all to play for again? <laughs> well, the wolf is playing patiently because that's the right move. Tony has 40 in and almost 200 back. Does he have to call with nearly almost any hand? Absolutely does not. But, wow, well, look at this. 120 120, there's the ace jack. Queen four is out. Cool. Tony G with sixes. Cool. He's got the pair. <laughs> he flipped his hand up no, early. A story here, Marty. We got him all in. Wow. Premier League final. His hand may actually be called dead. I, I think he said call. I don't his, know. He said call, but. <laughs> I thought they were all in. I'll tell you what I'm going to call here, right? Okay. You cannot raise. He, he, it's up to him now, right? You're going to see oh. the fuck you cannot raise, you can only call. Okay. <laughs> you have a situation. <laughs> oh, wow. He, I see. He wasn't. He thought he was all in. I He's an out. The I fans will enjoy it. No, I'm so bad. Oh, <laughs> then he still got chips back. He still. He said call and flipped his hand. He said call and flipped his hand laughed, up. Tony. Some places may call that a dead hand, and uh, I think it's a good decision by Mad Marty Wilson. <laughs> I, I, mean, I don't think it should be a dead hand. <laughs> I, I, I think that's. I think it's the right decision. I think it's very interesting because the only thing that could happen that's good is. See now, Tony G can move all in. No, he can't. He, Marty, Marty has ruled that Tony cannot bet, but can call. Wow. And uh, I wonder if, if Andy Black is going to try and bet with the worst hand. I don't think so. He checked. <laughs> wow, there's a six. 
<laughs> oh my God! Oh, no. in heaven! Oh, this is this has cost. This has become a legendary pot. And look at Tony G. He's looks sick. Yeah, the reason he looks sick is he knows they're going to be watching us the internet forever. There's probably people watching this in the internet two years from now, going, "Look at this." This has cost him a hundred thousand in chips. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think it's like it. I'm drawing dead. You win. <laughs> this oh hand God. will go down in history right here. <laughs> Tony, can, uh, he has to be a little laugh about it. I mean, this is, that could end up. That could end up costing him sixty thousand dollars or more. Wow. A hundred and twenty thousand in chips. Oh my gosh! Forget Ralph Perry. That's a new number one. <laughs> this view, this may be viewed oh a million times oh on the God. internet. Yeah, and he only made it one twenty. <laughs> Wow, that's oh, yeah, that cost him a hundred. Uh, Let me tell you something. If <laughs> if he would have won the other hundred twenty-five thousand, they'd all be right around. They'd be right around five hundred thousand each right now. That's where they would all be. Rolling with two kings, you limped in. Wow. Cool. Tony G is called. How dangerous is this for DeWolf? Wolf? There is. Pretty wow. dangerous. I mean, uh, well, look, I don't have a problem with it really, but I mean, he has to be able to. He has to be able to get away from it if something weird comes up. And let's see if something weird does come up. Oh my God! Straight flush draw for Tony G. That is amazing. Check. All the money's gone in. I think so. Sixty thousand. All in. All in. I think it's going to be pretty tough for me to fold here, Tony. <laughs> But you can count it anyway. Here cool. we go. I tell you. I have you. to count it. I have a scary, a scary. Run. This is this is no, really no, scary. Tony G is running so good. He just I made call. the three sixes. I, mean, I, I, I have a feeling he's going to hit this hand. Twelve, I mean, he's 12 only outs <laughs> twice, right? He's only forty-two percent. The screen says. I mean, he needs Did a heart. Say? Or an eight. He can't hit hard, hard either. With an good luck with. Him. 790,000 in this pot. It's going to be Chip Leader here who wins it. DeWolf slow played the Kings. That was luckiest to win. Well, DeWolf is a favorite again, you know, but uh, Tony G just has a lot of outs. Here we go. It's a 10, and Tony G needs a heart or an 8 in the river or bye bye, Tony G. It's a 3, and Tony G has been busted out of the tournament. Some weird stuff going on with the two sixes there. Roland so might not have been able to call if he bet 500,000. Wow, what is going on here? Strange, strange happenings He's gonna be sick. at the Premier League. The mistake I made is just so devastating that I'm very upset, you know. It's just so, so, so sad, you know, so sad. I mean, I flipped over my hand and before the flop, and my hand could have been dead. I was thinking ahead of myself, you know, it was just... I was thinking we're all in, and uh, you know, it's terrible. I'm shattered. Just two players still standing. Will Andy Black or Roland DeWolf be crowned Premier League champion? I mean, what's left from here? We've seen it all, Phil. But a heads up now for the Premier League trophy. And DeWolf with the chip lead. <laughs> He's been so superlative. Come on, Ireland. Ireland. <laughs> we can look at these heads up stats, and we can also throw them out the window. DeWolf's done a little more at this final table, but he's had more to do. They say you get counted at the pearly gates. Who wants to stand up and say, yes, I can? It was 1997 when Stu Unger sent Andy Black to a monastery, and it's been a long road back. Cool. The great thing about this, I mean, well, obviously a lot of money at stake, but this right. this, this means a lot to both these guys. I mean, uh, this, is, this is a title that means something in Europe. Check it. Interesting hand here. Seven. 70,000. Yeah, Roland with Fair a chance to really spin out. And Roland can afford to move in and can get he? called. And and I, I don't think he'll do it. But he could afford to move all in and be wrong. And cool. He just called, and I think that's a good play. It's a big bet, 70K. This pot's over 200,000 now. Yeah. Check it. 
And he had to check it. Okay, a ten or a spade for Roland. Will he bluff if he misses? It's a spade, wow. Cool. Flash. There's a really tough card on the river for Andy Black. Uh, I mean, Phil, you know, there was an argument for betting on the turn and a big argument for checking, wasn't there? Well, yeah, I mean, if he bets on if he bets on the turn, I mean, then you say, wow, great play, but I don't have a problem with this check on the turn. On the other hand, he could have gone oh, broke on that you hand. Get, you get it with him? And Roland's grade, well, it has to be an A. I mean, I, I only remember, like, one misstep from him the whole day where he paid off 35000 against Marcel when they were five-handed. Well, I mean, you can talk about the misstep. Come on, that was a good time. He's made some plays that were just cool. sort of way out of the and box. And he's been Call. called. Eight nine of clubs versus King Jack of Hearts. If Roland can win this hand, <laughs> he is your Premier League champion. Well, right, Char. Hey, 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 hey. I like Black's hand. Of course, that's a favorite. Wow, five, six, Interesting. ten. Interesting Roland could end it with a seven. It's over. Of course, any eight or nine, he no, takes a huge lead. It's oh, it's a 10. Back. What a great card for Black. Now Roland needs an offsuit, 7, 8, or 9, and that's it. But he has a swing, wow. and it's not there. Yeah, that was Roland DeWolf's first chance to win the mm -hmm. Premier League 20. title. Yep, that's right. <laughs> and uh, he, he, he took it. Come and, on, um, Ireland. Black has now Nothing. doubled up, and there's not much in it. It's 100 lights. No. He's going to call with ace okay. four. Roland's, oh, well, look at this. Black's going to check king nine. They're playing poker. You know, this, none of this just, I'm on with ace four. I call you with king nine type of stuff. 50,000. Cool. And Roland is in bad shape. And, and he does a lot more calling Roland's bets than, than raising them. Oh, absolutely. Oh, what a magic card for check. Roland. He put himself check. in pretty bad shape here. He checked it, though. Why would he check? He hit the ace. And now Black check. has redrawn him. Wow. So let me get this straight. Roland ace. had the best hand before the flop with ace high. Black had the best hand on the flop with nines. Roland had the best hand on the turn with aces. And Black had the best hand on the river with kings and nines. And where you really score it up is the river, by the way. That's kings. That is kings. Andy Black with two kings. Rowan does not want to pick up the king cool. queen. Check. No raise. Yeah, Rowan made a nice check there. This is Black's. Uh... Black could Black win it? Slow playing kings. There it is. There's a six, and I think this is over. Cool. Seventy thousand. Cool. And wow. this I think is over. Yeah. And it's ironic that he could win wow. the slow playing kings, nice. which is exactly what Roland did to Tony G. What can I do? He's there. He's there. 80% to win the Premier League. His first turn. Look at how emotional Andy is. If a queen or a six comes out, he might not even win I'm this seven. match. Look at how emotional. Look at the emotion yeah. on his this face. Would the, this would be the biggest he's title so he's ever close. had. He's so close. He may cry if he wins, and he may collapse. He's just saying, Lord, or whoever he's talking to, Lord, Buddha, whoever, please. It's an eight. It's a beautiful card. Yeah, it's he can only the lose queen. to a six. I'm a six and that. only a six in the river. Look at that emotion on his face. He might collapse. It's a deuce. He's and Andy's won. Look at that. Yeah, he's a champion. He can't believe it. <laughs> Well done, Andy Black. Well done. Overall report, A. Possible to win something, eh? <laughs> he has overcome the demons, Phil. He beat them all. Five very tough poker players at this final table, and the demon that can be his own worst enemy. I was talking the other day, and I said, you're not using all your power. You know, <laughs> we, were, we, were out, uh, we were out hanging around London, and he said, you're right, Phil. I'm going to use more power. <laughs> He's used all of his power tonight. He's the Premier League champion. He is. Uh, it was a great final table. And uh, Roland DeWolf, so close. I mean, he has 
played some cards. <sighs> Following in the footsteps of you, I help you, Andy Black, your Premier League champion. The tears are coming. Yeah. It's good stuff. <laughs> to want something so badly and finally get it. Well done. Thanks, everybody. Two kings here, but one of them, king of the Premier League, Andy Black. Congratulations. I, I know this means a lot to you. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've been playing poker for uh, 20 years, and uh, um, I suppose I got into the big time maybe back in the World Series in 2005 and I've led more tournaments than anyone else, major <laughs> tournaments than anyone else in the world. Um, I don't know, sometimes you think, hey, is it ever going to happen? So, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very emotional. It's, it's great, you know. It was, it was great. And uh, Roland, commiserations, but I've got to tell you, you, you can play some cards. <laughs> I've enjoyed uh, the Premier League all the way through, you know, just to hopefully put on a good show. Um, delighted just to be, you know, in the final and then just to play my best game on the day. I congratulate Andy. I think I did basically all I can uh, all the way through and, um, you know, very close to winning. I'm happy Andy won, you know, he's a good guy. <laughs> And, uh, you know, what can I say? Put on a great show and let's entertain people for another year because Premier League is a great yeah. thing to be at. It's here to stay. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunity, basically. I'll be back next year. So will Andy, and uh, maybe we'll swap around the one, two. But <laughs> great fun, great fun. The whole, the whole series has been fantastic. Andy, do you feel, I know the money comes and goes, but your name is going to be on that trophy uh, forever. Yeah, I'm just not used to that, you know. Uh, hopefully I'll... Uh, Get more used to. Well, here to present your trophy and check the head of uh, online gaming for Matchroom Sport, Eddie Hearn. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. I always wanted to do this. Yes! <laughs> Come on, Ireland. <laughs> Congratulations again to Andy Black. Never again will he be the best poker player not to win a major. He is your party poker Premier League champion. Yeah, baby. Everyone's here waiting for you. <laughs> the world doesn't understand it. All they see is all the bracelets. That's all they see. This is the different year of Premier League for me. Yes, baby! I am the greatest. Fuck an ace! Fish. What the fuck? I want the limo. I'm ready to go. I don't want to hang out. <laughs> Anybody says how bad to me, I'm going to be arguing. <laughs> My children behave better than you. They're worth listening to. Seven times. Seven times. It has to happen like that. This place is a fucking setup. This is sick. She wrote one thing. The Tournament of Champions in 2004, and I, I finished fucking second. And then she wrote her biggest win ever, two million, and she got two million for first. I got zero for second. That's what she wrote, and then showed it to me. You don't think she's trying to needle me? None of you here have any heart. Believe me, I've been watching you guys. It's embarrassing. You know, the sooner they drag you back in the fucking water, the better. <laughs> you fucking fat idiot. On your bikes. I can learn. It's time to go. It's time to go. Someday, Alex, we can be good enough to make that call. Come on, Ireland. It's good stuff to want something so badly and finally get it. Well done. Thanks, everybody. I always wanted to do this. Yay! Yeah. Yes! <laughs>